All right, morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Um, uh, what we're up to today is we're gonna we're gonna head down to Red Deer, to the uh, to the Red Deer swap meet. I think the the ad says it's the uh, biggest swap meet in Western Canada or something. So um, we've been there before, and uh, yeah, they got a ton of stuff. We'll we'll see. Uh, we'll go take a look. Um, it's uh, a little over two hours away from here. It's about uh, five thirty in the morning. Um, yeah, so you can hear. I don't know if you can hear. Well, I got the, I guess the heater's on in a bit, but. You can hear the old duck trucks running. We're going to take that baby and we're going to head down there and who knows, maybe we'll find some gasser parts. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll find some parts for this old Pontiac. Um, well, you never know. We'll see what we can find. Um, but yeah, we'll take a little break from this, from this baby here and uh, go to the swap meet, see if we can find something cool. Keep these projects rolling. just about here so, um the trip was pretty good actually the weather wasn't as, wasn't too bad got a little worse here but still nothing too serious um like I said it was a real nice drive um the old duck truck did real good I kind of goosed her all the way here too so it actually did pretty good so anyways we're just about to pull into the parking lot here um and then yeah we'll go see what we can find Oh, check out this sweet ride. That's very similar to what I'm working on. I think it's identical. <laughs> Already, let's say to you front. Yeah. It literally. Look at you, you even got the, you even got the, I like the visor. Eh? Yeah. yeah, probably like an Oldsmobile or something. That's uh that's a good price. It's got a Mustang two front end already, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's out. That's a nice cab over. Seventy five. Oh man. I'm gonna buy a dirt bike today. That's what we're gonna buy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ten star. Sorry. That's cool. That's real nice. Looks pretty complete too, right? Like it's even got the you know, got everything. That's awesome. See all like what's this for? I need this for the gas or new. Oh, it's 351. That's a Ford. No good. Why oh, you got Ford stuff? This Ford guy. I oh, look at that puppy. puppy. The Poochie. Oh, this is a nice set of gauges. Oh, there's another. Up there. I know that little car doesn't need it's got its own little thing, right? But I don't know if you knew. Oh, see that guy at Napa has this up on his shelf. This the RC, but you know what I mean. He has it up on his shelf, like in new in the box. I was always curious about it. Pretty cool, right? Like it's seventy percent you know, painted or something, so it's not Napa. It'd be cool, right? I like this thing. <laughs> this seems cool for like a an antique thing, eh? Spark plug tester, blah blah blah. Hundred bucks, probably not bad for that. 
the fuck on the shelf. Quick, we'll do this bro. Big block Chevy. You really got to know what you're looking for if you want an engine parts and stuff, right? You really got to know exactly what you're after. Oh, there's some vintage, vintage keychains. That one's cool. I think it says Dotson. That's super cool. Oh, man. Check this out. Them sweet. Depe Grill. Yeah, so this place is hopping. There's there's a ton of stuff. We just barely got started. It's like the usual stuff, hey? Eh? Lots of license plates, lots of Hot Wheels. These these license plates, they're going up and up and up, I've noticed. Used to be able to buy them for five bucks. Now they're, now they're uh, you know, $20, $30 a plate, right? But anyways, we're going to keep on looking, see if we can find some treasures to take home. But we'll see. There's, there's a lot of stuff. Cool, actually. Quick battery connectors that you can put a lot of pretty cool good and yourself so <laughs> we just got here there's a big lineup to get in so yeah yeah oh gotcha i got you yep much of these. I have a set of those. 180 bucks. This is super cool. Hey, if you're like the train guy, that's awesome. This is the stuff you have when you're when I was little, right? That's a nice classic looking one, hey? Oh, uh, centers. I get you. What's, oh, it's a bottle opener. <laughs> That's super cool, hey? Fire. <laughs> cool diagnostic yeah. machine. So I need a... I'm looking for, like, wheels. Ooh, 40 bucks for the pair. I just bought a set of them. Well, three inch, so these are two and a half. But I just bought a set. Oh, this is dope. i seen this in the Mac. The Mac catalog, it's uh, like slot cars, but they're drag. You know so what I mean? Like the a drag strip. Yeah, it's like a drag strip. Yeah. That's super cool. cool, yeah. Oh, here's some more. No prices you have to ask. I'm just curious what they sell a cab for. I'd like a small block Chevy, double high rise. So that's like that one I showed you. See the one with the yeah. tall, like that, but for a small box Chevy? That'd be good for the gasser. Well, this guy's a serious drag racer. That's the, the starting thing. <laughs> we got some nice little cans and toys and stuff. Like that thing's super, that's super cool. You can buy pennies. Oh, there they are. 69 Camaro. There's a square body Chevy lower panels. This would be nice for Dragon. Hildebrand, quick change, right? You take this cover off, put different gears. $700. How much? $700. Oh, that's probably cheap, depending on what the gearing and stuff, but ooh, look at that chassis. I don't know what that is, but that baby is flash. Got a big old LS with a 4L80. Yeah, pretty flash. Probably like a like a sixty something C or seventy two C ten or something. Here's some vintage. Two dollars a pair. I can buy those for you. Oh, there's, yeah, I think there's more drag racing stuff, so we'll keep my eyes open. What are these babies? Nope, oh, they're not slotted. There's a slotted mag. Four, four slotted. No, that one seems so 
little four slotted aluminum rims, 15 by 6, 15 by 8 and a half. Or, I don't know, I might need a little wider. I assume this, this would be the 8 and a half one. 500 bucks for four is not bad. You know, and it's people, they here. joke out in the line. They're like, Ward Warner, World Class T plus a T5. Okay. What's good so to need, like, I need good to the other. Right? Two, yep. So far, I didn't see anything that's like, ooh, I have to have. I like this venture. 80 bucks. <laughs> Those torches, full bin of torches, the parking meter. This is child, child proof fan. Fenders. This ones are too new. That's a, that's the seventies. That's the right one. For my trucks, grills. That's a nice GMC grill. It's not the right vintage, but still nice. Yeah, yeah, they chop the chop the fenders off, hang it on your wall, right? Ooh, look at that camshaft. Son of a gun. Yeah, it's a big block. Big block Chevy. But that's uh I assume assume that's with the carburetors, right? That's probably a really good deal. Authentic. Oh. Gold. Yeah. I, uh, that's, the num that's the actual original. Yeah. Right? I don't know how much you'd want for it. It's almost, would you want to even use it, though? I don't know. It's pretty nice. It is nice. Yeah. Like, what's, uh, what's, um, even, what's even this? Like, it's got a little... Oh, that's the one that has it for your gun. Mm -hmm. The pooch, hey? No. Really nice. It's yeah. new old stocks. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you bet. I got it on for 40 bucks. Okay, that's what it is? Yeah. And okay, well, for 40 bucks. it's not... These, these weren't vehicle specific, right? They were generic for a bench no, seat, right? They are pretty much generic. You yeah. used to find them a lot of the old GMC trucks. Of course, yeah. Like that, yeah, so. And that's what I have, so yeah. that's what... Yeah, that would fit. My brother okay. had a blue one in his GMC. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes, Wildfire, it was called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had the flames and yeah. the mural on the back. And, hey, that's real yeah. nice. Well, I, we did, I didn't bring cash, so i got to go grab some cash, okay. but we'll probably... Yeah, sure. well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, but yeah, I think I'll probably grab that from you. I'll sure. just go yeah, grab some. I think they've got the Insta Bank out there. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thanks so much. 75 now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, and just and it's it's, it's new. As far as I can tell, it's completely okay. complete. So. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Awesome. Enjoy. Th thanks so much. Yeah. All right. Well, all I got so far is uh, Barbie actually found it. This old uh, new in new old stock in 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 its original box. This uh, seat cover, which we bought one off of Amazon, and it's fine, but it didn't fit real nice and. And stuff, and plus I have that old uh, that old crew cab, so this will be real nice. It's they were real slick. I remember when I was a little kid, they have the uh, well, they're just snake, but they have the pouch you could slide your gun in and stuff for when you're uh, out ranching, I guess. So, but anyways, pretty excited about that new new old stock. It's awesome. Look at that baby, thousand bucks. Looks pretty rough. It's the long one though, which sucks. But this is nice though. It's got some good patina. That's real nice. Cool. Yeah, lots of girls. Oh, that visor's pretty dope. It's a nice visor. That's a nice little tailgate. Yeah, that's a nice tailgate. We got some cars too. Everyone's selling the stuff that's in their trees, eh? Just in case you need a, just in case you need a door handle. Yeah. Oh, hey, score! Holy schnickerdoodles! 
Look at all the tiny carburetors. What are those for? Like mini pit bikes and stuff. You know, that kind of stuff. It's a lot of tiny carburetors. They're pretty nice. I wonder what size Cooper Cobra. Two seventy five. I think that's what's on the back. You look it up for biggest twenty foot. I think those are exactly what's on the back of the duck truck. Oh really? Yeah. Oh see. I need I need two carburetors one day. I'm gonna need two carburetors. One day soon. Sweet old motorcycle stuff, eh? Kind of man. Kind of man KV, right? Oh, this is a really nice guy. I never seen like whether they ask them for license plates, do you know? I'm not say on those pubs, but. How much are your license plates? Or me? How much are your license plates? Well, it depends which ones. Oh, okay. Gotcha, yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> well, just, just kind of curious. Just, yeah. yeah. So just like, say, like these ones or these ones, right? Um, uh, probably around. Oh, oh I, sorry. These, these would be a little more. These are Saskatchewan ones, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's a set. Yeah, you bet. Probably 30 bucks for the set. I gotcha, yep. Um, we got a bunch more down there. Those are all that word. Gotcha. Depending how many you buy, you just use them for decoration. It's just decoration yeah. stuff. Yeah, you betcha. Gotcha. Those are mostly 38s down there, 38 Alberta. Okay. Quite a few sets are wired together. Yep. But so, I don't know. Like, right there again, starting at 10 bucks. I gotcha. You want to buy a bunch of one? Yep. Sounds good. Yep. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. They clean up pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys do whole walls. Like I know, yeah, I know yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. So that those would be kind of cleaned up ones, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. you bet. Yeah. No, they look good. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Thanks so much. You yeah. You bet. Square body. Typical, eh? Oh, look at this carp. It's a gas roof. So I need super skinnies like this for the front of the gasser. But I don't want uh, I want spoke ones for the front, right? But they have to be skinny like this, right? Those thirty-two, those thirty-two Chevy lights are nice. The there, oh yeah, they're nice pods, right? Be nice for a roadster or something. Yeah, real nice. Yeah, you betcha. Yeah, yeah. For sure. This super nice truck, these ones too. These old Dodges got a nice patina to them, but, or a nice look to them, I should say. They got a lot of old vehicles. Where is this? What? That's dope. Gasoline. That's pretty tough. That's pretty dope. There's a, I think that's a legit old record player. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does it work? Does it work? Yeah. That's cool.
Look even the plug, hey. It's <laughs> cool. Well, not terrible, hey. It's kind of the gas tank. This would be dope for it, though, for the gas here. Hold this. Hey, you just... Yeah, I don't know. Definitely got the right look to it. Kind of cool. Mm -hmm. It's a little dragster. That's super cool. That is a big... Must be a big carb, man. Lots of, probably lots of good engine stuff here if you knew exactly what you're after. I mean, that's probably a $500 pump, right? It's weird that it's chopped right off like that. Like, these are flashy coilovers. Need a set of them one day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, that's what it's for, that big. Let me just get here. Yeah, I need a set of coilovers for the gas here one day. These are the tail lights and stuff out of like army trucks, right? The little. You need a sunroof. Oh, you're selling? Oh, I see. Yeah. New, new old stock. Yeah. 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 That's pretty cool. I was always scared of them though. Cause. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, they were they were known to leak. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna. I just want to look at it. <laughs> Says Peggy Buck Diesel Auto something. I feel like that belongs there. Peggy Buck Diesel Auto horn. Crap. So how does oh you hook a wire to both I guess. Kind of neat. Well, I'm not. Let's see what it sounds like. Hey, okay. what the, what this is all about? Like with the two little horns and stuff. Like is that it's supposed to sound like a diesel? I don't know. Okay. Auto horn. Huh. Oh, like a oh, because oh, I didn't actually just notice that. It's kind of a picture of a train. Okay. Okay. Huh. That's kind of neat. Yeah, it's different, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. So you always got to give it a minute, and if it's gone, it's a sign. It's still there. And you'll be sad if it is gone, and you yeah. know you're supposed to get it. Howdy. Hey, hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm looking at your pedal here. I was just wondering, uh, would you would you take 50 bucks for that guy? Uh, 60. 60? I'll do 60. Sounds good. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank nice. you. <laughs> well, I was I was hoping to find some gasser parts. And, uh, well, here we go. It's pretty important part. Yeah. <laughs> it's the gasser part. <laughs> so, so we went into, uh, yeah, we just, we're just leaving the old swap meet now. And, uh. They got so much stuff there. You kind of got to know what you're looking for, especially when it comes to uh, when it comes to engine parts and stuff. But yeah, you really got to know what you're looking for. But uh, we found a couple of things. This old vintage seat cover and got this little horn. And hey, everyone, check this sweet old car out. Nice old car. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna jump in the truck and head home.
um, probably probably stop and grab a bite to eat and it's not too not too gross out here yet now so uh, yeah we'll be pinning her Okay, everyone, we made it back uh, from the swamp night. We're back in the garage here. Um, we didn't buy a ton. It was just fun to look. At those things, you, you really have to have a plan. You really have to know what you're looking for. And, uh, so, you know, so you don't miss stuff and you know what to watch for. But more than that, you really got to know what you're looking for. So you don't, uh, you know, so you don't get the wrong parts. Because they, there's, there's, uh, there's so much there, right? So, but anyways, it was fun to go, fun to see. We'd, what we did grab is this uh, new old stock seat cover. Pretty excited about this actually, because I think that, well, that being a new old stock, this would have been from back in the day. And um, we, for those, for those, uh, well, we bought one for that 78 Chevy and it, it uh, off Amazon or something, right? So, but uh, it didn't fit. I mean, it works, but it didn't fit nice. It didn't everything. So I'm kind of excited about this one. I think it'll look real good in there. And uh, so we got that. Um, I did buy, I did buy a gasser, a gas pedal for that gasser. That's going to be real cool. The old, uh, footprint there. And the other thing at those places too, it's awesome is these people, they're always willing to deal. So, um, they're, I got a deal on everything I bought. So, and it was cheap stuff anyways. And then I bought this old horn. I'll uh, see how, if I can make it work. It's actually really cool. I have no idea. It's, they say, what are they calling it? A piggyback diesel auto horn. It kind of, just with the picture and stuff, I don't know you can see there, but kind of shows, uh, I don't know, it's supposed to sound like a like a diesel horn. I don't know what that means, but it was real cheap. The fella gave me a deal, so I thought, well, I'll see if I can get it work and see if I can make it make some noise. Um, be kind of fun. But uh, anyway, so that's all we grabbed this time. Um, they are having another one later this year. We'll go again, I think, but I'll, I'll make more of a list when I, when I know for certain... Um, with that gas or especially what, what route I want to go engine transmission, um, differential stuff like that. So, um, and then when we were leaving the, uh, when we were leaving the swap meet, we saw a sign for a, what was it? Antiques and collectibles store. It was called Juff enough. Anyway, so we decided to check it out. We went there, super pleasant people. Um, nice little store. They got lots of, uh, lots of collectibles and then, and then some antiques and stuff too. Anyway, so we were there and we were talking to that lady there. She was a very pleasant lady. And uh, um, she mentioned that her husband, oh, before I forget too, Barbie bought some, some sunglasses there for the ride home so that she could uh, see better. But anyway, so um, yeah, so her, she was kind enough to show her, her husband had, uh, well, he's into cars and stuff. And, and, they, and they showed us their, their, their collection and stuff of, of cars and, and other stuff. They're, he's, he's making hot rod pedal cars and just some really cool stuff. Very nice people. Had a, had a, had a, had an enjoyable time hanging out with them, visiting them for a bit. We didn't really film anything. It was kind of their personal stuff. So I didn't want to, didn't want to muck around too much there, but that was kind of fun. We did that. And, uh, and then we pinned it home. The old duck truck did good. Um, didn't, 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 didn't steer us wrong. It handled real nice. Did okay. Um, oh, and another thing. I, so you could judge me if you want, but, um, you know how when you hear a saying, and you don't really know, know what it means or you don't really think about it? I just didn't think about it. Anyways, I was driving home. Barbie was kind of resting. I seen a bunch of deer running across the field, just to give her, about, about six of them. And, I, and in my mind, I thought, I thought, boy, they're hightailing it across the field. with their. <laughs> and then I clued in, is that where it comes from? <laughs> the deer running with their tails in the air? Because they were. I'm like... <laughs> I, anyways, I don't know if that's where they came from, that saying came from, but on the way home, I, I, I don't know, I thought that, and I'm like, shoot, I wonder if that's where that comes from. So anyways, I, I heard that saying my whole life, never really thought nothing of it, but those deer were hightailing it across the field. But if you watch, please, uh, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.